Hello, my name is Esteban Baez, and I'm here with Seven Figure Agency, and today we're interviewing Chris Rodriguez. Chris, thank you so much for being here with us. Honored. And we're just going to chat about your story. We really want to learn about you and how you came across digital marketing. Sure. How did you become a digital marketer? Yeah, so I've been a lifelong martial artist. Okay. I started when I was eight years old, and on the first day that I stepped onto the dojo carpet, I knew that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So when I, after graduating college, I ended up opening my own jujitsu school. Wow. And in order to pay the bills, you got to figure out how to sign up new students. Okay. So I went all in in learning marketing. And there's lots of different types of marketing you could do with a martial arts school. And I wanted one where I could stay in my air-conditioned office because I live in Florida <laughs> okay. and it's super hot. So like flying cars or doing door hangers or being a PE teacher for the day was not my jam. So I started learning Facebook ads and I started learning okay. Google ads. And I absolutely loved the fact that I could open my laptop, you know, sh you know, uh, type into the computer and literally have leads on tap. Wow. And we grew very, very quickly through predominantly digital marketing. And then other martial arts schools started seeing all of the pictures on social media of me having all of these kids in my program. And they reached out and said, like, how are you doing that? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, just, you know, running Facebook ads and running Google ads. So that's how I, I really started learning about marketing. Um, my mom was actually a marketing director for a very big pharmaceutical company. So I guess it's kind of in my blood as well. Mm. But I had no other choice but to learn it if I wanted to grow my, my martial arts school. So it sounds like it was out of necessity. 100%. You, you needed to put some bodies on the map. Exactly. So, wow. And now looking back at your story, when did you come across Seven Figure Agency and Josh Nelson? Yeah, so when those martial arts school owners were reaching out and asking, like, how are you scaling so quickly? And I said, oh, you know, we're doing Facebook ads, we're doing Google ads. You know, they said, well, can, can you teach me? And mm -hmm. I said, sure, why not? So I put together an eight-week marketing mastermind course for these school owners. And we would spend, like, a couple of weeks on Facebook, a couple of weeks on Google, and I taught them exactly, you know, the campaigns that I was doing in my school. And at the end of the eight weeks, everybody was blown away with the content. Chris, this was so amazing. We learned so much, but we don't want to do this. Can you just do it for me? Okay. And I was like, no, I'm just teaching it. I have a degree in education, so I love mm -hmm. teaching. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I said no. And then I did another eight weeks and got a bunch of other school owners to participate. This was in person or virtual? No, this was all virtual. This okay. was on Zoom. And oh, wow. this was back in 2018, 2019. Okay. And I taught another eight-week course. And at the end of the eight weeks, same thing. Chris, this is amazing, but we don't want to do it. Will you just right. do it for me? And uh, finally, I said, sure. So I took on 10 clients. Okay. And at the time in my martial arts school, it was really operating by itself. Okay. So when I took on these 10 clients, I realized, man, I just bought myself another job. <laughs> and uh, I needed to start building a team. So I started using 1099 contractors to help with the media buying and was able to grow it to about 30,000 MRR just yeah. from the business practices that I had taught myself with, you know, owning a martial arts school. Wow. And then COVID hit. And when COVID hit, all the martial arts schools got shut down. Right. I was navigating how do I keep my martial arts school afloat? How do I also keep this side hustle, which at $30,000 a month was it's pretty getting, nice. it's getting a bigger. It's not just like the side hustle. Yeah. And uh, I ended up seeing an ad on Instagram for Josh's roadmap book. Okay. Instantly bought the book, read it in one sitting took a picture of the book and tagged Josh on Instagram. <laughs> and he immediately reached out via DM. And that is where this beautiful journey of being a part of this amazing community began. Wow. So the roadmap book. The roadmap gotcha. book. It is. Great lead <laughs> magnet, guys. <laughs> okay, awesome. Now, what would you tell someone who's looking at this that might not 
they're considering making the decision to join a coaching program. How do you feel about coaching programs and specifically our coaching program for digital marketing agencies? Yeah, so, you know, I came to Seven Figure at a very difficult time period, which was, you know, going through COVID. And I ended up losing about 30% of our clients. Oh, wow. And that's really the main reason why I reached out. And it's so interesting because I had a mentor for my martial arts school. I had a coach that owned a bunch of martial arts schools and taught me what to do and had never, like, considered finding an agency coach, which is just <laughs> so silly now that I look back on it. And, um, you know, just the, the entire process from the second that, uh, you know, I, I did the, the discovery call, the sales call, um, I have just been absolutely blown away by what has been, what's been provided and how much seven figure, whatever they say they're going to do, you guys do it, right? So for me at the time, you know, we were at that 30,000, we lost a third Mm -hmm. of our clientele. I became a, a client, a seven figure. I told my wife, it was like a three day weekend. And I was like, babe, I need three days uninterrupted Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Mm -hmm. I've got to get through this online portal. And at the time it was the on ramp. Okay. And I watched every single video implemented immediately all of the information. And uh, oh, was you did all the on ramp. All the on ramp, which wow. back then it, it wasn't as big as it, you know it, yeah. it is now, and uh, I just went you know all in. I made the decision, you know, like everybody's definition of success is is different. But right. when you're looking for a mentor, you need to find a mentor who has done the thing that you are wanting to do, right? And Josh had done that. He had built a multiple seven figure agency, and it's like, okay, well, he knows how to do it. He's taught all of these other people how to do it. Mm -hmm. If they can do it, I can do it. I just have to follow the recipe. And I think one of the mistakes that a lot of people make with coaching is they want to modify. They don't want to model. And that was one thing that I thought I did very well. I'm not trying to change the recipe. He's given me the recipe. Right. It calls for chocolate chips. I'm going to use chocolate chips. I'm not going to use raisins. Right. Right? right. And I think if you just go into this and you just model Everything that's been provided, you're literally given a roadmap. This is where you start. This is the next thing that you do. You're given a checklist. If you do that, I mean, it's, it's, you will 100% reach your, your goals. And, you know, I, I joined Seven Figure in, in 2020. Here we are in the middle of 2024. And our monthly recurring revenue is at $310,000. So we're knocking on the door of a $4 million agency That's amazing. In, in under four years, you yeah. know, I mean, so. And Congratulations. Thank you. That's powerful. And there are so many other success stories inside of seven figure just like that. So, you know, don't think like, oh, the, well, you're in a different niche or that wouldn't work, you know, where I'm at. It works. You just have to work. Right. Now, a lot of people might hear this and, and think to themselves, but there's so much information out there. Yeah. Why do I have to join a community? Mm. Why do I have to get a coach? If I could just go on YouTube and learn a lot of these things on my own. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the, the greatest things about seven figure is that they literally tell you if this is where you are at, this is where you start. Mm. And it's a checklist and it says, okay, do you have, you know, has your niche been selected? Have you done that yet? You got to do that first. Right. We check that off, right? right? Have you created your, you know, video sales landing page? You haven't done that. You're going to do that next. There's a sequence. There is. And right. success is sequential. And if you just follow that sequence that is provided, then you'll be able to do it just like, I think we're at 122 seven-figure agencies that Seven Figure has, you know, built. Okay. So there's, there's a lot of evidence that, that it works. Good. What would you tell yourself if you were looking back in time, looking at yourself now? Is there something you would tell yourself that you wish somebody would have told you while you were going through your process and your journey? You know, I'm, I, I love where I'm at right now, and, and I'm really focusing on enjoying the journey. You know, mm. I, I coach a lot of the members here inside of Seven Figure and, you know, these, these guys that are at 30,000 and 40,000 and the problems that they're dealing with. And I reminisce about like, man, I remember like being in the weeds, you yeah. know, like that. Um, I, you know, would have told myself to find Josh on day one, <laughs> Love it. you know, yeah. uh, because while we have had, you know, very quick growth, it would have happened a lot 
a lot faster. Yeah. And um, there's also been times where, you know, a coach has, has told me to do something mm. and I sat on it just a little too long. Mm. So uh, especially with the things where you might have a mental block, like for me, it was pricing, raising my rates, right? I was told, Chris, you are not charging enough. You've got to raise your rates. And I had this mental block like, oh my God, I'm going to lose all my clients if I do that, or we're not going to be able to sell it. The yeah. second we did it, like our sales just continued to increase, you know? Just went up. Um, so yeah, maybe just listening a little bit faster yeah. with some of the things that I felt I had a very strong opinion on. Yeah. So it sounds like get a coach and listen to your coach. Exactly. And do what your coach tells yes. you to do. Yes. Model, don't modify. That's excellent. So one last question for you. Sure. When you're not working, what are you passionate about? Do you have any hobbies? Is there something that you love spending your time doing? Something that probably you don't tell people that you might want to share and reveal. Yeah, you know, I think it's an interesting question because what I love doing is working. Mm. And with, you know, what you hear from a lot of people, you have to have this work-life balance. And mm -hmm. um, if I absolutely love what I do, wouldn't I want to do as much of that as I can? That makes sense. And I think that often a lot of super successful people are often misunderstood and you have to be okay with being misunderstood. Mm. So for me, you know, the way that I'm able to release, the way that I'm able to show up is I prioritize my health, go to the gym every single morning, um, that to me is something I, you know, enjoy doing, maybe not on the car ride there at, you know, six o'clock in the morning, like, oh, do I really have to do this? Yeah. Uh, but that is something I enjoy doing. All of my not work time is dedicated to my family. So I have a four-year-old boy, his name's Cruz, um, my wife, Stephanie, I have two older sons, Darian and Nate. And to me, if, you know, my calendar is open, okay. it's that time is for them. I do love a great pickleball game, though. So if uh, anybody wants to play uh, pickleball, I'd love love to do that. But nice. uh, yeah, I'm just uh, I really am aiming to just try to get one percent better every day. So I'm very mm -hmm. conscious of the things that I am spending my time on. Is is this going to help me get one percent better? Love it, Chris. Thank you so much. You're this welcome. Yeah, happy to have you. Here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. it.